I'll be the first to say it. YouTubers are some of the most giving, kind people in the entire world. Like, for example, how Logan Paul wants to sell you a Polaroid as an NFT for thousands of dollars. Actual art. I can't stop thinking it's the only thing I care Each about. Each picture is an NFT. It all ties to my entire life. Okay, jokes aside, there are a lot of YouTubers out there that are incredibly giving. They do a lot of charity work. One that comes to mind is Jacksepticeye, who ran something called Thankmas, where he raises hundreds of thousands to build houses in underprivileged countries. And if not YouTubers, then websites. For example, Reddit, with the subreddit R Atheism, giving this water tank that says R Atheism. But recently, I've been linked a video that goes above and beyond how a YouTuber can help someone, but how a YouTuber can help a country. Now, the video in question is titled, I spent 100 hours in the world's poorest country. It was uploaded by a guy called Phidias, who's one of these Mr. Breast types. You know, he, he does like these challenge videos going somewhere, doing a thing, that, that kind of stuff. Now, by looking at the dislikes in the video, they're not very good. He also made a little bit of a thumbnail change as well recently. C comparing the two thumbnails, you can kind of see why. But what I wanted to do is go in with an open mind and just see what, what's the problem? Pro what could, what could be wrong? I'm falling. What, what could be wrong with this video? Surely nothing. This is the worst poorest country and there is a lot of bad things said about it. That's why I'm going to spend the next 100 hours here to see with my own eyes if it's true or not. So the main premise, if you could sit through that attention deficit editing, is him going to the poorest country in the world in Africa. I want to say as well, I'm sure the locals are very happy that this is probably the third YouTuber this month to visit their country, saying how terrible it is and no one's got any food or money. I just like to imagine these poor kids that are just like surviving day to day and they get these the, this queue of people that come off the plane guys w look look at all these people they have no money that's insane in the united states it cost around 50 dollars to get a haircut let's see how much it cost here <laughs> are you ready no <laughs> All the people that are outside to see Nassim haircut. How much is normally a haircut? One thousand. One dollar is two thousand. Yes. You got fifty cents haircut. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Nassim, you look sexier now. You agree, guys, right? The thing is, you'll notice this video, like, it isn't in bad spirit. This is obviously someone that genuinely wanted to travel to this country and document the poverty. But you can't shake this nasty feeling that everyone in the background is just a prop to them. Especially when they walk around saying openly in front of people how cheap everything is. It's so cheap. How could you pay for this? It's so disgustingly cheap. When we left the barber shop, I saw something that I wasn't expecting. This is a house of a person here. Yeah. People actually live here. Oh my gosh, this is an actual house. Look at all the kids outside waiting. Hello! I love as well here, the editor puts on the triumphant Avengers music as to, you know, hide the guy going, oh my god, pe people live here? Pe you choose to live it? You're homeless? You're... Just buy a home! What are you homeless for? It's current year, man, come on. It's obvious with this guy that English is not his native language, and you can kind of defend that a little bit. Maybe, you know, it's the way he's pronouncing things or enunciating things things. It's not meant to be as insincere, but again, you're walking inside people's homes just being like, oh my god. Dang. It's like that goofy meme, like, damn, bitch, you live like this? The next bit here is just absolutely terrible. He's basically telling his audience that while he's in this country, one of the biggest risks he'll have is catching malaria. That in itself is totally fine. I mean, malaria is a very prevalent disease. I mean, I've seen papers that have said that malaria has basically killed half of all humans that have ever lived. And in Africa, it's still very dangerous and prevalent. There is nothing wrong with addressing that at all. It is literal fact. The only problem is he uses this as build up because in the very next scene, he's offered food by a stranger and he has this dramatic build up music like, oh my God, am I going to get malaria from the stranger's food? Find out after the break, guys. But the next morning, someone invited us to his house for breakfast. This is food. This is for me. Wow. <laughs> Like yeah, bread. yeah I, I guess if the food tastes good, you don't have malaria. It's not like, you know, like most viruses and parasites, there's a there's an ingestion period of several hours, if not days. No, the food tasted fine, guys. He's not gonna get malaria. <laughs> Round of applause. This is the toilet here, Nasim Kam. They do this and they shit like this, probably. 
I'm learning so much. It's like the best day of my life. He really had to squat down and reenact the motion of shitting himself. See, okay, well, when I watched this part, I thought this had to be parody. I thought this guy's entire bit was like mocking Mr. Beast type channels. Today, guys, I'm gonna go to America and then ask if they can put it on my fifth credit card. There's also these weird little bits throughout the video he sprinkles. I, I call them damage control, where he basically has a little monologue saying things like, guys, being poor, it doesn't mean anything. It's, it's it's just status. It's just a word. A word that everyone throws around and it means nothing. We're all the same. Despite the fact despite the fact that you're visiting these poor people, they can't do anything about it. And you're going around filming in their homes saying how poor they are. I just wanted to say guys that poor doesn't mean bad. Poor is like being tall or short. It's just a fact and doesn't define you. That's right guys. Being poor isn't a label. It's just a word. But it does give rich YouTubers the ability to walk around your house poking you like your germs in a petri dish. Hmm, looks about the same. Ah. Oh. Now, th this this bit's really weird. He goes to school with all these kids and basically tries to like teach them stuff. And then he pulls out his smartphone and he starts flexing about how you guys will never have access to the internet. This is where like I've learned about the greatest things ever. They are not only from school. They are online from the phone. They can access all the clever minds. I said this because only 10% of the population has access to the internet. Now, one thing you've noticed, probably, he's cut himself off in post-narration because he's dribbling absolute nonsense. And as well, I don't know how his editors didn't catch this. If you look in the background, you can see one of the teachers pull out his own smartphone almost to interrupt the guy like, hey, buddy, we, we do actually have uh, technology here. We've also got running water. Can you tell us some stuff about Burundi that we don't know? Everything is really cheap, I can say that. We have a nice tea. We have a nice coffee. You already drink that? No, we didn't drink coffee yet. We're just going to our bike. Okay. Coffee. Wait. Africa has coffee as well. Next, you'll tell me they have cars or electricity. This is less like a rich person visiting a poor country and more like an alien trying to imitate what a human is. The rest of the video is pretty much the same. I mean, he goes into a field with some workers and he just starts filming the women. They, they, they don't look very happy at all as most people wouldn't be happy being interrupted with their work to be filmed by like an alien. <laughs> he does do some kind deeds though. Like for example, he gets this guy and puts him in a wheelchair and takes him to a hospital bed while all of his cameramen are filming and people are like parading it around. It's kind of like, you know, in, in Fallout, when you do like a really bad deed and then you just give a uh, bottle of water to a homeless guy to kind of level it out. It's kind of like that. Now, I do want to say in the guy's defense, as much as I've been ribbing on him, he has done a GoFundMe and he's basically said that any amount of money raised within a certain threshold, he will match, meaning he will donate what you donate. At the minute, the GoFundMe is around $8,000, which obviously, you know, I, I can't criticize that. That's a really good deal of him. And then he said he's going to do a follow-up video where he takes the money and uses it to buy supplies to give around the community. And again, that, that's great. And I'm not going to criticize that at all. But even though he's done that really kind deed, the entire video itself feels really insensitive. I'm going to say it's nowhere near as bad as rice gum, like pulling out some dollar bills and just, you know, making it rain on the homeless. But a guy walking around criticizing how poor a country is, I'm sure it's the least what the people want. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because within this video, another video is brought up of another YouTuber going to this exact same country and the driver's talking smack about the guy saying how terrible the video was. And then he talks to the cameraman like he's going to do a better job. Okay, I, I just can't shake this fact that when he goes home and he leaves, there's going to be a queue of these other YouTubers all with their Canon AEDs ready to just like vlog their experience in the poorest country in the world. They treat it like they're going to go there and it's going to be a war zone. Like, where you, you guys don't like kill each other and you have water and, and you have smartphone? <sighs> My life has changed. But yeah, overall, it's not the worst video in the world. It had a good message behind it, and he's going to give back to the community. Half of it being his fans' money, of course, not his own. But still, can't really knock it. But again, like that that original thumbnail that he had to change, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't look good, man. Doesn't look good.